Good morning. My Shachat Naman to Swamiji, and I seek his blessings before I begin my presentation. As we know that awareness can do wonders. So I would like to request all of you to give me two promises today. One is that please be aware of your face and facial expression while we are there together for one hour. And also be aware of your fingers, how your fingers are. So I repeat again, I want all of you to be aware of your facial expression, what is on your face this one hour, and awareness of your fingers. And awareness of fingers means you relax your fingers, you let go. How are you sitting right now? Mostly we sit with holding on to something. We don't let go. And when we hold on to something, when we don't let go, we get some indirect stress, strain, and stiffness, and some kind of tensions. So please be aware of your fingers, and all of you, relax your fingers, let go your fingers, before I begin my presentation. And very important is your face. What is on your face? Let there be smile, shine, bright, glow, grace on your face. Let there be complete relaxation, especially on your eyebrows, relax your jaws, and your eyes, let your eyes speak with the yogic joy. Let your eyes shine, bright, glow, grace, including your cheeks. So two things, we will remember this one hour before we move on to the further. I would like to take you to the, take you to the, uh, you know, what we were doing here in Mumbai, Kevaldham, and Ranavala, Kevaldham, and then what life we were leading. Let's have glimpses of those, so it will let us, it will give us some idea what we were, what we are, and what we should be. So let's have a look at this slide, which says what urban life we were leading. So I will just put the next slide before it comes. So we were leading a life which was full of rat, rat, rat race, rush, rush, and rush. So we had all kinds of rush where we were just running, running, running. From morning till evening, we were just running. We, before we sleep, we were running for the breakfast and the motion and the loo and so on. So we had all kinds of rush and we just ran and ran and ran. So the life was full of stress. We had a lot of stress, a lot of run like this, what you can see now, uh, morning run, and especially the urban life. We had all kinds of hurry, worry, and rushes. So this life gave us sometime pep up, sometime stress, sometime some kind of uh, adrenal rush, and all those things which were happening in the body, we were not aware. So I have told you to aware, be aware of your face. Please remember, I will remind every now and then, are you aware of your face? Are you aware of your fingers? So we had this life, especially in urban lifestyle, we were just running and we had no break, no time to unwind mindfully or be aware of what we are mentally, physically, emotionally. So, and then you see the next slide where we are in Mumbai right now. We are at Marin Drive. And this will show you the traffic, the rush of the you know cars, bikes, and buses. So we were into complete jam, mental, emotional, physical, and traffic jam. And you can see over there, if I can move the cursor, Kevaldham is also seen in the picture where you see the traffic. The cars are lined up. Kevaldham is also there in the box, that picture we have taken where we are there at Marin Drive. The other picture shows famous Ganpati festival of Mumbai, Maharashtra. And you see the local train also in one picture where we have rush like people. They say you stand at the door when you want to get down, people will push you out. And when you want to get in, in again, stand at the door, people will push you in. So you don't need to do anything in local train. You will be pushed in, pushed out. So that is the way the life was. So this is the story of the road, and then the story of the plane at the air at the airport. In urban city, uh, famous big airports, the planes have lined up. They are queuing up to take off. And if you see the picture on the other side, plane is landing as well. 
So landing is happening, takeoff is queued up, lined up, and at the airport, we had such a rush. Booking the uh, flight ticket was difficult. You don't get the tickets because so much of rush and running was happening. That was the story of the air as well. <clears throat> then the story at the water, at the sea, Gateway of India, boats were lined up. People were queuing up to see the Gateway of India and have a boat ride. Ships were there. So even at the water, we had traffic jam. We had people, 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 and all kinds of worries, stress, hurry, rush, and so on. That was the life we were leading. And then this is very famous snacks, not very healthy, although, but juju party, where we were eating all kinds of these things. But yes, sometimes you can enjoy them. They are uh, rajshik in a way, but uh, avoid often. They are not that healthy, but they are. They look good. So it's juju party picture. Then you see this junk, famous junk. We have pizza, burger, and all those things, which is definitely avoidable. Please avoid, but looks good. So I thought I'll share what we were doing and what we should do. We'll, we will talk about it. And then we, the life took complete change. We were asked to sit home. We were quarantined. And then the life changed completely. Soon we will go back to the life what we were leading. But this is the time to understand and to know yourself what wrong mistakes we were doing earlier before this lockdown and what we should do after the lockdown. It's a wonderful way of God saying us that please look after yourself, take a break, take a pause, have a you know just kind of relaxation in between. So this was this is the now uh, way of God telling us, and we know one thing is only constant that is change, and we need to understand this change and accept it and flow with the change. Okay, and then now. This is the situation at Marine Drive. Empty road, Gateway of India is empty, bus is empty, local train and stations are empty. This is the situation now. And then you will realize what we were doing from home, cheering our COVID warriors, cheering our workers, those who are working in this situation, sitting home, praying, cheering, and wishing best for everybody and the nation. And now we talk about the causes, why we have problems. The number one for me is high expectation. You know, when you have high expectation, you are disappointed, you are frustrated, and that leads to disorders, diseases. So please minimize expectation and try to understand that you put in your best, forget the rest. When you give your best, no need to worry. Result will come, things will happen. Just put in your sincere hard work, sincere effort, and avoid expectation. So minimize expect expectation, please. And then, especially for youngsters, we have a lot of pressure nowadays. Competition. And competition means to get percentage, 80, 90, 70. So it's such a huge pressure on our youngsters. And how to manage the pressure? The answer is yoga and family support, family guidance, family relationship. And then at this age, when we are teen, when we are youngsters, we have huge distraction. We have so much of distraction, so much happening, especially the social media. And due to the age, we have other distractions. So please control and minimize the distraction. We will talk about a solution soon. And then most of us do this one mistake, which is, 80% of the time we have brooding, we have negative talk, we have self-talk, which is unnecessary talk. We rarely do concrete or positive talk. If you become aware of that as well, right now I have asked you to be aware of your face and fingers. Are you? Please be aware of fingers. Relax, let go. And your face, are you smiling? Let them smile, it will do wonders. The smile, and relax your fingers. And now the third point is be aware of your thoughts, especially when you are alone. What happens to your thoughts? Where are we thinking? What are we thinking? Where are we going? And if you are aware of your thought process, especially when you are alone, you will understand that most of the time we don't need to think that way. We need to have, we need to be here and now, not in the past or the future. So please understand that. 80% of the time when we are alone, 
our thought process should be little positive, little practical, little here and now, not in the past or the future. And then generally what we do at, at the young age, we are generally negative, find mistakes, faults, blame, complain, demand, and so on goes on. So please try to minimize this blame, complain, and demand. It will do a lot good to you because we need to find a solution, not the problems. We, we cannot do the blame. We, we know our duties, but you should also understand that you can't simply demand blame and complain. It will not help you, so minimize this. Food we have already seen, generally our diet is unhealthy unless we are in Kevaladam Ronawala. I remember my days in 81 when I was there, wonderful light, wonderful food we had in Lonawala Kevaladam when I was doing my diploma in 81. So please try to follow that kind of diet which is healthy and sattvic and perfectly nutritious and balanced. The food we will talk about it again later on, but it's one of the major issue for your stress and lifestyle disorders. And then we have various unnecessary, unhealthy habits. I'll give you an example. Often in peer pressure, friends ask you to try a cigarette or smoking, drinking, and various other things. The trying itself is a problem. Don't ever try. The minute you try, you may have issues. You may have problems. You may get addicted to it. So first step is to not try itself. We know it's not good. We know it's bad. We know it can harm. It will harm. So when we know that something is bad, something is not good, please don't try. The trying itself should be stopped. All right? I hope you understand what I mean. Don't ever touch it. And then sometimes we are not in control of the outer stress, outer problems, like air pollution, water uh, is sometimes not healthy, polluted, noise, too much noise, traffic, food also is junk, not healthy. So a lot of you know emotional, mental, physical pollutions we have. So try to minimize these pollutions. Then we have various stress, emotional, mental, physical. We will talk about it later on, but yes, we need to manage our stress. Very important point here is irregular hours. The routine should be reasonably disciplined. You should avoid having the irregular timetable. A simple example I will give you, when we have appointment with the doctor, when you want to meet somebody at fixed time and the person or the doctor is not available, it's so disappointing, so frustrating, so upsetting. Same thing happens with the body. When body is having appointment of time, like sleep time, eating time, loo, motion, bathroom time, and you ignore it, it's not good. It's going to hurt, hurt you. The body will rebel. Body will accept for a while, but body will give in. Body will create a lot of problem. So remember, appointment with your body, appointment with your timetable, food, sleep, and so on should be respected. As you want to respect your appointment or somebody's appointment of meeting, say, doctor or any other important appointment. And another important point is sleep. Please ensure that we manage around seven hours of sleep. Or if you can't manage, then please do meditation, shavasan, offer in a day. We will talk about it a little later. So ensure that we have good sleep. Good sleep means, again, timetable is important. Please sleep on time. We know the hours. The dincharya we know. Routine we know. I will talk about the dincharya at the end. So please get good sleep. Sound sleep, okay? And then, unfortunately, the lifestyle has become so hectic that we don't find time to walk or move around and do, around, do anything outside. We are always indoor. They say that if you sit down for half an hour, not move, you will be smoking a few cigarettes. That kind of harm you will have. So sitting down for half an hour itself is inviting trouble, inviting the problems and diseases. And how? I'll give you an example. You know, when the water of, uh, you know, water is flowing in the river, we can drink. But the water which becomes stagnated, stops, we can't drink. Same in the body, where energy is flowing, means we have less problems, less toxins, less issue with the body. But when the energy stops, when we sit down, we have collection of toxins, accumulation of the toxins and junk in the body, and even the organs become sluggish. They don't function well. So please ensure that we are active, 
we are moving around and not to sit for uh, more than half an hour. It does really a lot bad to us and harms our body. And then we have, unfortunately, again, lifestyle is changing. We never knew that we will do all activity now online because of lock, uh, lockdown, but we are doing it. But while you do this online activity, you should ensure that you are moving your hands, legs, and body and few parts. So be reasonably active and avoid too much of a screen time. And even if you have, unfortunately, a lot of screen time, a lot of uh, you know use of the laptop, mobile, and so on, please ensure that every now and then you close your eyes and do some drastis, do some eye practices, and allow your eyes to rest and relax. Means we simply have relaxation, unwinding mindfully with eyes closed. As we know, 80% of concentration distraction is due to eyes. So when you close your eyes, optic nerve is connected to eyes and brain. It helps to calm down. It helps to relax. As we know, before pranayama and meditation, if you do eye practices, if you do those trees, you will get a lot of benefit. So please remember, these are the wonderful points in a way to have lifestyle correction, minimize the lifestyle disease. So please look into these. And then we will have to manage. Now everything goes down to management now. The world has come down to management, whether it's time management, very important point for youngsters especially. Please set the priorities, have time management, minimize the distractions. You have to have timetable and schedule. So work on it, very important. Food, we know, we will talk about it later, but yes, you have to have a food timetable, food uh, management, as I talked about, the appointment of body with food or with sleep or with motion is something we need to respect to minimize lifestyle disorders. And the mind management, mind and emotions both go handy together. And in yoga, we have wonderful these two first steps, yamas and niyamas. If you follow yam and niyam, you will have very well management of time and emotions, well, mind and emotions. So please remember, I'm sure you all are connected to yoga. You have some information, some knowledge of yoga. So please follow these yam niyam to manage your mind and emotions. Besides doing yoga, which we will practice today, I would like to do a bit of uh, practice as well. Social life, something which we need to also look into. Nowadays, we have extreme social life or no social life. So balance your social life and ensure that meeting of the people, those who are positive, those who give you encouragement, those who praise you and not have unnecessary gossip and just do waste of time. So please manage your social life where you are entertaining, going out, meeting friends for a positivity or something which, which gives you entertainment, which is healthy. Entertainment can be of any kind, but is it healthy entertainment? Is it gaining you something, giving you something? And family management is the key for all kinds of health issues, lifestyle disorders. Family is your first doctor. Family is your first support. Family is your first you should look for. So family management means respect and love towards every member of the family if you give, they will give it back to you. And understand, we all go through the various stresses. So family members can also go through the stresses. So please have a very loving, caring, very much like warmth with the family. Yes, there are ups and downs, but try to forget and forgive and move on. Family is the first who will always come to your rescue or help. But you need to give in. You need to have that kind of warmth where you expect the warmth from the family members or the friends. So social life means good friends. Family is your first doctor, first counselor, and first support. So don't miss out on family, please. And nowadays, we know sometimes we're living far. We are not able to meet because of lockdown. So have a chat, have video chat, have a chat on the phone, but don't disconnect. Connection with family will do wonders in your lifestyle disorder management. Personal life, yes, we need that shoulder to cry on, shoulder to lean on. We need that support where we need to have someone where we are feeling free and we can let out, we can release and have that kind of feeling where there are no 
restrictions, no inhibitions, complete private personal. So try to find friend or family, somebody where you have good personal rapport and relationship, which is positive, not for selfish motives, not for what I gain, what I achieve, but what I give, what I do. Once you do, automatically it comes back to you. So first do and then see what happens. It will come back to you. And then relationship management overall, overall balance it. Family, friends, society, worker, colleagues, and then everybody. So have a good management of your relationship. Set a priorities and those priorities will give you idea how to manage the relationship. And then management of health management. Basically what I'm trying to say here, the if at all by chance you have some health issues and doctors are giving you the advice of testing medication, please don't miss out. Don't delay the testing and the medication. If you have to take, you need to take. So please be careful with your health. By chance, you need to do the tested testing, uh, take out your reports, don't delay, don't miss out. Because early detection, early management can help and even control and cure your many disorders. Reversal of diseases is possible. So don't delay your reports, don't delay your testing. And if you have to take medication, don't ignore, take it. But yes, you can plan and with the good uh, yoga teacher, yoga doctor, or people, those who are into the healthy lifestyle can help you, guide you to slowly cut down a medication, taper down medication, if at all possible. So have a good uh, planning of your health if you have diseases. And then the solution. I said something in the beginning, you know, you remember what I said? Smile, what's on your face? Be Buddha. Let there be shine, bright, glow and grace. It will do wonders. Immediately stress goes down. So face the challenges with smile. All right. So remember, endorphins are released the minute you smile. Wonderful chemicals are released. And now how your fingers, how your hands are, let go. Not only physically, mentally, emotionally, let go. Just release, drop and let go. No, I, me, my. All right. So remember, and what are you thinking? Yes, right now I'm talking to you. But when I'm not talking to you or even while you listen to me, mind goes here and there. So check your thought process and what are you thinking in between, all right? And now we have solutions. The first, number one solution I gave you is smile. Problem solved. You have difficulty, you have stress, learn to smile, you will be fine, I promise you. And then there are various ways, as you see the you know slide says, all is well. And when you are positive, and you say positively, it says all is well anyway, it becomes all is well. All right, so what do we think, what we plan, what we uh, you know, start imagining, starts happening? What mind believes, body will do, and that will happen in reality as well. So please remember that you know, uh, all is well. And then you are seeing in the picture three hearts. It's a very simple concept. The heart which we have on the left side is working, giving the blood to the whole body. But there are two more hearts your calf muscles shape like this. Calf muscles shape like this also function logically like heart. So the heart which on the left side is pumping the blood to the whole body and it has to go back to the heart. So the calf muscles should be kept healthy. How do we keep healthy? Stretching your feet, your toes, your calves and walking, doing some yoga postures, ensuring that we have a good walk. So please ensure that your Calf muscles are healthy by asanas, by practices, and by walking as well. We will talk about those practices in a while. And then all is well, okay? Detox is very important. Cleansing is very important. So we will talk about that in a while. Before that, please remember, how's your face? Smile, all right? Fingers, fine, good. And now we have various ways to cleanse. For lifestyle disorders, cleansing is important because if you avoid the accumulation of toxins, poison in the body, body will not fall sick. 
body is a wonderful machine it does wonders so the minute we do the cleansing and aware of the uh, detox processes body will do great to you body is a wonderful machine to sustain and live for 100 years this machine is valid for 100 years it's guaranteed but we mess up we play with it we take it for granted and we do things which are not supposed to be done so please remember this machine the body is ensured for 100 years provided you are looking after it okay as we buy the new vehicle it's uh, there are always you know things are written the rules to be followed every 500 kilometers go to garage for servicing every 6 months servicing 3 months servicing same way this body machine needs servicing it's need it needs overhauling and where will we do go for overhauling go to kevaldam nonawala take this body this machine to the garage and garage is kevaldam nonawala go there for a week stay there and body will come back with absolutely fresh and new like how the cars from garage come out and you feel good about it so there are these natural four processes we do wonderful uh, relax uh, cleansing and detox every time you're breathing out detox happening cleansing happening so ensure that you have a proper exhalation whenever you inhale it should be proper deep and long full inhalation by using your lungs to the full capacity but exhalation is very important please ensure that you exhale completely unless you exhale completely you will not feel that your you know detox is done complete exhalation means used air has to be thrown out and we create place for fresh air to come in so please do proper exhalation in even routine like right now we are sitting you should exhale properly so that you have thrown out the used air and creating the place for fresh air to come in all right so and in, we have a lot of practices in yoga we have pranayama we have kapalbhati and even generally when you do asanas please ensure that you have a focus and awareness of inhalation exhalation and more focus on little complete exhalation and then passing of the motion ayurveda yoga naturopathy all say constipation is cause of all the problem so please ensure unless you load right you can't unload properly so eating right is important eating right is very very important so eat healthy we know we will talk about it again in later time so eat right so you have no constipation it's one of the way to cleanse and there is no harm in passing the motion twice a day morning evening we eating twice a day or so we suggest yoga twice a day nowadays in lockdown we suggest a lot of activity twice a day so why not motion twice a day because it's ultimately cleansing it's ultimately unloading the junk okay and the dirt and then passing of the urine these four processes are happening naturally anyway i want all of you to enhance and be aware is it happening properly are we doing properly these uh, four processes so for passing urine please don't delay don't hold on whenever you need to pass pass but then drink in a water don't wait for thirst often we wait for the thirst that's mean that means the body is dehydrated so don't wait for thirst just drink often and clean your kidneys and your system by passing urine regularly the urine color should be as good as water that is the sign of good detox good cleansing and then the sweating skin is the largest organ and if you sweat well you do detox you have all the skin pores open up for the fresh air and various things to receive and sweating means the excess salt and other chemicals are thrown out of the body so please ensure once a day you sweat it can be simple by walk and even certain uh, yoga practices can make you sweat as well so please sweat once a day very very important so these four natural processes which are helping you to the detox and cleansing you must be aware and ensure that they are happening regularly and you are conscious about it okay support these processes okay don't ignore them and then there are these organs wonderful function of these organs very important is liver now liver will bless you if you give fiber 
we need to give liver not fat but the fiber fiber we know is there in all the green vegetables leafy vegetables fruits and salads sprouts and normally in india we eat bread or chapati so please have multi grain chapati or at least the whole wheat and maybe ideally the uh, you know with the roughage so to avoid having the fine flour have it more of the multi grain or with the roughage so liver will bless you if you give good fiber raw fresh fiber to liver remember liver can live longer liver can repair itself provided we help provided we support liver okay postures asana and pranayam is all be there but food makes a difference for lungs we have pranayam we have asanas we have various practices and as i said you must breathe properly breathe out properly ideally we breathe whatever we breathe but if you can slow down a bit breath should be a little slower deeper fuller and complete exhalation is very important and these small things will do wonders in your lifestyle management of these disorders intestine again you must pass a motion and show that you clean your system and intestines are cleaned and not putting too much of spices all the junk all the you know food which is getting uh, clogged over there okay so intestine requires again healthy food which will be uh, doing wonders to intestine kidneys we know water and lot of you can for kidney ideally you should have juices ideally fruits juices sprouts and lot of water skin i have already said you must walk you must sweat you must do yoga daily twice a day maybe and sweat out is very important and then in yoga we have these six cleansing processes we know most of them we practice also few are the one which you can do anytime anywhere especially tratak if you are uh, properly if you learn tratak will do wonders to your hidden impression cleansing of your uh, sanskaras negativity all that works wonder to your eyes and brain and emotions so tratak is fine then there is dhoti you have to learn again at kevalidham wherever you can basti difficult to practice but learn if you can neti we can do not that difficult tratak is fine we can do all the, any time just learn properly and kapalbhati is most famous most common practice which is great to practice so please ensure that we do kapalbhati as well provided you are fine you are healthy you have no health condition if you have you should consult the doctors and kevalda mumbai has a facility to consult the doctors online so please visit our website kedham.com oblique mumbai fill the form meet a doctors consult a doctors i mean discuss with them so any yoga practices you do or any issue mental physical emotional i repeat kedham.com/mumbai fill the form and consult the doctors and do yoga with absolutely zero risk and safe yoga practices we can't avoid stress stress can cause lifestyle disorders but how to live with this stress without the stress the best way is yoga practice yoga is a wonderful science and philosophy we all know that i will talk about those few points later on but we can definitely manage our stress with yogic lifestyle yogic ways so we will discuss that the simple definition for stress is any situation when we are not ready prepared or you know uh, we are just relaxing or not having wonderful preparation for it we get stress so it can be internal external physical mental emotional and we know the definition of stress it can be caused because of lack of sleep lack of food vitamins so many reasons are there where we can get stress but solutions are there i will try to talk more about solution problems we have but what is the solution and the solutions are simple generally we fight we flight both are not going to really help you in some situation extreme situation yes there may be some answer in it but the best approach is to flow and let go how you have kept a fingers check out the fingers right now how your face is relax smile especially eyebrows your jaws your fingers check your posture how your head is neck and shoulders are your feet your toes awareness will do wonders 
to your health and lifestyle disorders. So, whenever you have stress, sit down, take a break, take a pause, flow and let go. Otherwise, when you fight and flight, you have adrenal rush. And when we have adrenal rush, the whole body into the uh, stiffness, inside, outside, more of a stress, tension, and every organ gets haywire. We have Swamiji's research about it. Emotional, when we are extremely stressed, when we are upset and tense and worried, Swamiji did first, uh, in a long, long back, the experiment. And first ever magazine he came out, that was in 1924, called Yuvimansa. And that test which Swamiji did in Lonavala Kevalada was about the stomach. And if you go onto our website, you can see the details. But I'll tell you in short, we did experiment and it was all set up. One person was made to get upset and angry, extremely upset and angry. Immediately we did test on him. We mean Swamiji, I wasn't there at that time. And some x-rays were done. And then we made him relax after the meditation, relaxation, and told him the story that it's all set up. You were forced to get upset and angry and go into the extreme state of anger, upset. Now relax, calm down. After five, ten minutes of Shavasana, relaxation, meditation, again x-ray was taken out. And these two x-rays were shown to expert doctors. And when they saw x-ray in extreme condition of stress, anger, upset, doctor said, this stomach is unhealthy, the person will have cancer or not survive long. But the other x-ray which was shown, which looked normal to doctor, was normal. Doctor said, very healthy stomach, person will live long life. So you can imagine, in 5 to 10 minutes, the emotions can create havoc in your stomach, in the whole parameters, your mental, physical, inside, outside. So please remember to relax, unwind. Are you smiling right now? How's your face? How's your fingers? Muni Patanjali wrote Yoga Sutra 5,000 years before. At that time itself, he wrote wonderful philosophy of life, which we all are following now. Worldwide, yoga is accepted. Yoga is practiced. Thanks to our prime minister and our government that it is now yoga day approaching. 21st June has become yoga day. But yoga day is once a year to celebrate we need to practice it every day to minimize the lifestyle disorders and various problems. So Muni Patanjali wrote sutras, one more liner with huge meaning, but simple explanation to understand and follow in a life. This one I would like to explain. Simply says, Avidya, Asmita, Rag, Dvesh, Abhinvesh, Klesha. These Kleshas, they cause havoc. They cause a lot of problems. Lack of right spiritual knowledge. Unless we have right knowledge, we cannot really understand and talk about it. So please try to have some spiritual knowledge, whichever way you want to follow it. A lot of I, me, my, we, all the issues in a life go down or relationship go down because of I, me, my. Please learn to understand as you want to be respected, respect others. So minimize this I, me, my. Too much attachment, unnecessary attachment. We came in this world without anything. We will go without anything. Then why, why do we attach? Nothing is yours, in fact. It's temporarily with you. Anything in life is with you temporarily. The change is the only constant. It will go away anyway. So why attach? At some point, there will be separation, whether it's a watch, clothes, or people, food, situations. All will change. So accept this situation that attachment can hurt you, can unnecessarily give you problems. So minimize this attachment. And for no reason, we have hatred. Even if the person doesn't do wrong to us, we still hate sometimes. We get jealous. We are into the state of, because neighbor is happy, we are happy. So these hatred, all the religion, all the people, color, caste, creed should be respected and avoid this hatred and when you have these awareness, when you minimize these problems, you can have beautiful health and minimize your lifestyle disorders. Muni Patanjali gave the problem area. Why problems? Okay. He also said solutions. How to solve them? How to get over with these problems? So he says, 
मैत्री करुणा मतोपेशना सुख दुख पुण्य पुण्य विषयना भावना तक इस प्रसाद रम मींस मिनिमाइज टू मिनिमाइज स्ट्रेस हैव क्वालिटी ऑफ फ्रेंडलीनेस टुवर्ड्स पीपल दोज़ जो हैप्पी दोज़ जो डूइंग वेल दोज़ जो हैप्पी बी फ्रेंडली जस्ट ब्लेस देम जस्ट से फाइन बी हैप्पी आई एम हैप्पी इन हैप्पीनेस काइंडनेस एंड कंपैशन टुवर्ड्स पीपल हु आर अनहैप्पी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हैव कंपैशन हैव हैव सम काइंड ऑफ यू नो नॉट रियली सिंपैथी एज सच बट have heart we say so have that kind of thing where people are unhappy due to various reason so have kindness towards them show respect to people those who are virtuous have just good respect because we need to learn have respect for, from people those who are really virtuous and indifferent towards people those who are vicious don't react be neutral no need to do anything and you will be fine so with these simple solutions Muni Patanjali has put it those many years before these problem and solution. So please work on these solutions. Then how to really overcome these uh, lifestyle disorders in a yogic way, yogic management? Muni Patanjali says in first part, Sutra twelve, Abhyas and Varagya. Please understand without practice, practice and practice, you cannot achieve perfection. So to achieve perfection, practice, just practice, just do it. keep doing it and then varag doesn't mean you just give up everything it comes there is a time like attachment like those greed i be my those kind of thing at some point understand that you will have to be renouncing those things or situations or people so simple thing is practice at this moment i would like to insist with the youngsters that anything you want to achieve and have perfection please practice and practice and practice especially yoga practice do it twice a day it will do great to you then other sutra is tapas vadhyay ishu pradhan this is also a solution hard work nothing can be achieved without hard work all the success of people in life have done hard work so hard work that is tapa swadhyay means self study you have your own Uh, you know education knowledge understanding reading learn 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 and grow okay you will bloom when you learn when you you know when you are having knowledge you feel confident you will great so please don't compromise on this learning process all right and then surrender to some almighty some higher power we may not know we may know it's not about religion it's about just understand that there is a power which is higher than all of us surrender it can be any religion or spirituality or simply pray all right and then the wonderful sutra a uh, shloka which is in gita which says regulate your eating have timing and habits have a regular movements effort in your moderate sleep sleep is important okay work moderately sleep regularly and make sure that and you are in a weak situation also you are fine so gita shlok is saying that balance everything moderate everything whether it's a eating sleeping working or in entertaining or any kind of thing so bring balance you know when we are child when we are small what are we taught to balance before we walk we are taught to balance so same balance goes on everywhere and nothing to compare being positive so positive is important and positive comes how when you practice yoga daily your mind is clear and your thinking process is clear and you see good you see positive i have experienced myself i am in this line since 81 more nearly 40 years now and it does wonders to the person those who practice yoga that they become positive they become happy relaxed and so on these are the few points i want to share and i want to explain explain to you that you know balance everything we don't have much time but i can tell you in short balance yoga program is important uh, ashtang yoga is there we know yam niyam asan pranayam pratyah dharana dhyan samadhi so please follow it and as i said time management in short please remember all the youngsters i would like to insist on have triple d in life remember triple d discipline determination and devotion even yoga sutra begin with atha yoga anushasana the first sutra itself 
says Atha Yoganu Sashana. So discipline is important wherever, whatever you do, if you want to achieve success. Determination is also important. Without having the willpower or determination, you will not be able to achieve success. And devotion. I was saying this triple D in US. And there my student told me, sir, you are telling us 3D. There is a fourth D also. And the fourth D is from their point of view was dollar, means money. It, so it's important, they said. I agree. If you have triple D, discipline, determination, devotion, fourth D will follow you, the dollar or the money. So in any anything you want to achieve successfully or happily, peacefully, discipline, determination, devotion, rest will be follow, whether it's money, happiness, health, wealth, whatever. So Atha Yoga Anusachana. Please remember and have timetable and discipline life. Let's do one practice for five minutes. Here we have example of, you know, uh, red breeds around 9,500 times in a minute and lives two, three years. Turtle breeds four in a minute, lives around 200 years. We human breathe around 16 times and live for 65 years. So the logic is, Slower the breath rate, longer your lifespan. So please remember that the breath can do wonders in your lifestyle management, lifestyle disorders. Because when you have silent breath, when you have a good process of breathing, you have parasympathetic nervous system more active. And when that is active, means you have more healing, rejuvenation, repair, and all kinds of wonderful experiences. So silencing of breath, slowing down the breath naturally, will help your parasympathetic system to be dominating. And when that dominates, means all healing, repair, re rejuvenation, and happens. And then what happens when you do traditional yoga, static yoga, uh, this kind of yoga, what I'm talking about, you have daily dose. Remember, have you got a daily dose through yoga? And that is dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. When you do yoga in a static way, in a relaxed way, in a traditional way, what Kevinam teaches, you will get daily dose of these wonderful healthy chemicals. Our health depends, depends on these release of these healthy chemicals. And when they are in a proper, adequate, we are healthy. Especially your glands, uh, like a thyroid, pituitary, and so on. At the same time, use your body parts in a balanced manner. Often we realize we use more left hand or right hand for carrying the bag or sitting or typing, writing. Whatever you do, please use every part of the body in a balanced manner. Very important part. If you sleep on the left side, please sleep on the right as well. If you lift from the left hand, try to use right hand as well. If you face left, please face right as well. So balance program is important, whether it's yoga program or 24-7 your routine lifestyle. For example, we sleep on the bed in the same uh, manner, same fashion. We go from the left side or right side, sit down, lie down, and so on. Change it. Sometimes sleep on the left side of the bed, sometimes right side of the bed. Same way, the laptop, PC, we keep in the same direction we keep. So change the position. When you change the position of the body or the things you're using, body will not get tired. Body will not be exhausted. A equal use of every part will relax the body and you will not be tired. So please be aware of these things. And then balance, relationship we've talked about, food we have talked about, sleep is very important, entertainment is important. And we know traditional scientific yoga practice, static way if you practice, you will have a lot of psychosomatic disorders controlled or even cured if it is done properly. Uh, we will now talk about a few things, but before that, let's do some uh, what we have talked, I want you to experience. See what happens in our life. We talk, we see, we hear, but we don't implement, we don't practice. So I want all of you to practice the example which I gave just now regarding red or tortoise or humans, the breathing rate. I want all of you to experience for five minutes and you will know yourself that how to silence a breath, how to bring that feeling of bliss in the breath. All right, so five minutes more alert, aware with me. And now we will practice simple thing called 
देह धारणा प्राण धारणा I want you to remember this, practice this often in a day. All right. So five minutes, we will do dear dharna, prad dharna. Experience what happens to our breath when we relax, when we meditate, when we concentrate. So please close your eyes, and we will do it for five minutes. All of you, sincerely close your eyes. What's on your face? Is it smiling? Let there be shine, a bright glow, grace. at least you are smiling i can see some of you are smiling smile more please all right relax your fingers let's do quick check on body we are using the body where do you live you live in this body where is your home body is your home so take care look after it and let's do 5 minutes of dhir dharna before we start let's have a checklist let's have a simple checklist of how everything is and before that remember i am doing nothing i want nothing and i am nothing with this experience your eyes and let your eyes rest please do not open your eyes for 5 minutes let your eyeballs relax let your eyes be closed peacefully move your eyeballs inside your eyelids clockwise and tick clockwise and relax your eyeballs rotate your eyeballs clockwise and tick clockwise and relax your eyeballs eyes are peacefully closed feel the weight of your upper eyelid on your lower eyelid it's touching it's there so feel it experience it subtle weight gentle weight so the idea is to rest your eyes completely relax your eyeballs completely experience your eyebrows no wrinkles no stress no contraction free your eyebrows experience your forehead upper head middle head back of the head and free your head empty blank thoughtless lightness freedom nothingness let your head be perfectly relaxed aligned in between your shoulders so loosen up your neck and shoulders and bring freedom relaxation in your head neck shoulders face full of yogic joy shine bright glow and grace relax your arms loosen up your hands as i said free your fingers relax your left hand completely loosen up rest it wherever you can relax your right hand bring freedom relaxation let go loosen up your arm and completely relax both the hands let them rest drop them wherever you are maybe on thighs maybe on the some arm rest chair rest or on the bed wherever you are just relax your hands completely mainly let go your fingers free your trunk chest diaphragm abdomen sides in the back with the breath trunk is moving allow your chest to move peacefully diaphragm in a relaxed manner stomach lovingly caringly gently goes out comes back and just be aware experience the spine cervical thoracic lumbar and the tail be upright but not stiff or tense be straight but relax caress your own back muscles massage your own back muscles massage your neck and shoulders through inner senses let go loosen up the stressful areas your eyebrows your jaws your neck and shoulders muscles around the spine wherever you find stress caress massage and bring freedom let go and loosen up so trunk is fine we are sitting on our hips experience your pelvic your waistline are you sitting upright are you tilting here and there do you have equilibrium and the balance so head so, to hips hips to head let there be balance let there be complete relaxation and make sure that you are fine equal balance and relaxation experience your legs relax left leg all the toes right leg 
on the toes. Free your legs, light and free. Now check the body once again, toes to head, to head to toes, you relax your body. Bring freedom in your whole body. Body is fine. And now we will spend a few minutes on the breath. Let's give quality time to the body and the breath. Pradharna means breath awareness. What we have done is body awareness, Dedharna. We're doing a little less time because we don't have much time. But when you do on your own, spend more time in Pradharna, minimum five minutes, and five minutes in Dedharna. So total 10 minutes. We will do a little less because we have less time. So breath is already silent. Breath is already slow. What we will do for two minutes, concentrate inside of your nostrils and see what happens. It touches your nostrils, gives you cool inhalation. It touches the nostrils, comes out, gives you warm exhalation. So enjoy this cool inhalation in your nostrils and warm exhalation. Find out the activity of your nostrils, see what happens, right or left, which is more open, more clear, which is dominating, which is active. Suranadi, right, Janranadi, left, which is more clear. We have seen those who practice yoga daily, their both the nostrils function in a balanced manner. So be aware of your nostrils, feel, flow, follow, let your breath become slow, shuttle and shallow. Simply silence your breath, spend time, prolong your breath. So feel, flow, follow, let your breath become slow, shuttle and shallow. Every time you inhale, it should be slowly going in. Every time you breathe out, slowly it should be coming out. So spend time, silence your breath, slow down your breath. Very quiet breath, be aware, be Sakshi, be the star and prolong the process. Very quiet breath. Feel it going down all the way till the lower abdomen. Feel it coming out all the way till the nostrils. The process of inhalation should be slow and slow and slow. Breathing out process should be quiet and slow and slow and slow. And then in between what happens? Breathing stops and that is the stage of meditation when nothing happens. So this pause, the silence and nothingness, let's spend time, let's prolong it, let's be with it. So quiet breath, spend time. Three stages we are now watching, observing, witnessing as a Sakshi, as a Drashta. With the neutral attitude, we are observing three things right now. Very slow, cool inhalation in the nostrils all the way down till the lower abdomen. Then the pause, break in silence. Very slow, warm exhalation, and the pause, break in silence. All these three stages you prolong, you spend time and let them happen. We will count the breath for a minute. So silence your breath, spend time, prolong the process, and quietly now count your breathing for a minute. One round means slow, cool air going in, then the pause. Slow warm air coming out and the pause is called one now. Please count till I tell you to stop. Silently, quietly, we are counting. We are being aware. Stop counting your breath and remember how many breaths you had. Remember how many breaths you had. Breath is slowed down. Breath has become silent. And that is what we need to do. So do this kind of practice, Deyadharana, Pradharana, 10 minutes, twice, twice a day. As doctors prescribe Rx morning, afternoon, evening. Please do this a few times a day. You can do sleeping or sitting. I think my time is over. I will quickly tell you a couple of things which are very important to uh, say as a passing by. 
yogic diet is basically mitahar whenever you eat you should always keep your stomach one fourth empty one fourth should be liquid water juices and 50% should be simple diet vegetarian diet so please uh, detail we can talk later on then i will also mention a couple of points which are very important as it you know tips for the youngsters and everybody and uh, so the tips are like this please write a diary by pencil don't miss out this from today onward at least do it for 10 days we have this program for youngsters uh, you know yoga for youngsters for youth and these 10 days you should remember a few points like you know some homework i'm giving you watch your face all the time how your face is what is on your face how your fingers are and then your breath see your breath right now we did something right so body awareness pranadharna breath awareness is pranadharna dehadharna body awareness so please do this body awareness breath awareness especially your face and fingers and the breath then write a diary by pencil try to have a yogic diet for these 10 days at least i want all of you to experience what happens in 10 days we will talk about it again i am here you can contact with through uh, email and other uh, managers through the you know our website so 10 days we will do this 21st we will discuss and see what happens and very important point we are now the time is selfie time okay so is your face selfie ready is your face camera friendly so let there be selfie ready face camera friendly face family is a doctor and counselor and friends chat with friends balance yoga program so please remember these take home tips lifestyle i will not discuss much now time is over so thank you so much and uh, have a yogic joy a blissful time no yoga no peace we know that so please do yoga daily encourage your friends and family let more people join our activity yoga for young minds and this is a free activity let people join let people come thank you so much for giving time and do yoga daily thank you bye bye namaskar have yogic joy